Hey Sag, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be for Sagittarius and for those who have Sagittarius anywhere in their natal chart. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. Keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. Energy is fluid, so you may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Okay, again, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is a bonus love reading. Time is also fluid. Anytime you press play is the time for you to receive the messages. Sagittarius, we're going to start the reading by pulling some indicator messages from the tarot deck just to see what this reading will entail. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'm so gracious. Show me the messages for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? In love? Show me Sagittarius' current situation in love. Super mixed up. Okay. Show me the messages for Sagittarius, please. Okay. Things are not as bad as it seems. That's what they're telling me, okay? Things are not as bad as it seems. At the bottom of the deck, I have find balance, okay? Find balance. Things are not as bad as it seems, all right? There's a lot of love in this connection, by the way, between you and your person. You do love each other. I feel... Though, like, right now, somebody feels alone in this connection. But I feel like it's their thoughts that's keeping them in fear. It's their thoughts that's keeping them stuck. The what-ifs. Um, it's like mental entrapment I'm getting, all right? Um, Spirit is saying, though, in this connection between you and your person, y'all can manifest the connection that you want. Somebody needs clarity here. They need to, but it, what it is, someone feels insecure in this connection, and they need clarity on feeling like this is going to work. All right? That's what they want. They, they want clarity to believe this is actually going to work out. However, there's manifestors here crowning this darkest fears. It's like whatever this person's darkest fears or our spirit is like, you can manifest what it is that you want, but it's going to require you two to come together with the embrace card, okay? So someone is definitely feeling insecure in this connection, and that's the overall energy that I'm getting, all right? So there's a need for you two to come together because there's love if you two come together. You just have to find the balance, all right? You see that? All right, so we're going to put these aside for now, all right? And see what's what's happening with the tarot in this connection. Why is somebody feeling insecure? Why is somebody feeling alone? Like someone, there's someone here who's... There's an insecurity here. Like they feel like there's a lacking of the partnership, all right? But I'm, I'm hearing like it's a state of mind. You can manifest what it is that you want, you know? You just have to believe it. You have to believe that you have it. You have to believe that it exists. You have to thank the universe for it in advance. But there's so much fear here. Somebody doesn't want to get hurt. Okay. Show me more for Sagittarius' connection. Yeah. I told you there's an ability to move forward. And look, I got the death reverse. All right. This is insane. Someone feels left behind, okay? Five of Pentacles here, crowned by the lovers reverse. So there's definitely a detachment here between you and your person. And with this lovers reverse, Gemini energy crowning this five of Pentacles, there's someone who lacks accountability here for this disunion, for this detachment. You know, like your person has trust issues because you, you, you know, 
I mean, I feel like I'm talking directly to your, to the person, your person, um, Sagittarius. <laughs> ah, I was just channeling the energy. You feel conflicted, all right? You don't trust your person because they detached from you and they lack the accountability of why they detached and you just feel left behind. And it's like you guys can't get out of this cycle with this death reverse Scorpio energy. And it's just like, how can we be together again if this person keeps me stuck? It's like you, you, your person will come back and you guys won't be progressing because there's this stuck energy here. We need to find out wow, why somebody's resisting change with this death reverse, okay? And with the high priestess reverse here, someone's not listening to their intuition, okay? They're acting out. And I feel that you feel like your person is manipulating you because they leave only to come back to keep you stuck again. And you want to know why, all right? Because with the six of pentacles as the hidden energy, it's like... You just want to be feel valued. You want your person to reciprocate the same feelings that you put out there, Sagittarius, okay? And this is why you feel alone, because this person keeps walking away from you, all right? And, like, it's your worst fear possible that you bring this person back, and they leave again. And it's just like, and you're like, you, you want a new beginning, though. That's why the manifestation's here. You can manifest what you want with this person, but you have to believe it. And you want clarity and belief. You want to believe that this person's feelings and their actions are aligning. So you can trust them enough to want to be reunited with them. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Sagittarius. Show me more for the situation, please. Yeah, you feel burdened by this. Ten of Wands. It's completely overwhelming for you that this person is not reciprocating the same energy. You feel this person takes you for granted. You just It just causes you a lot of stress. Like when, when someone's in your life and they're around you, your energy is supposed to feel relieved, safe, at ease. You're supposed to feel soft, not feeling hard, not feeling like you have to protect yourself from this person, you know? Not feeling overwhelmed. Show me more. That just flew out. Yeah, the hermit. You guys are definitely in separation now. There's a lot of contemplating energy here of what do I do next? Why does this keep happening to me? Yeah, with the king of pentacles, you want to feel security here. You want to connect with your person. You want to feel like your person is being mature, being grounded. You know, you guys are building together, enterprising together. And also, I feel for some of you, your person is, you feel like they're more preoccupied with financial matters and, and material things more than, you know, given to this connection. It's like your person wants their freedom. Show me the breakdown here. Yep. The person. It's like your, first, your person wants to be with you and they love you, but they also don't want to feel like you know, like they lose themselves in this connection. Themselves, if that makes sense. Why is there six of wands here? You feel like your person is taking advantage of you, you know, um, your emotions because they're not considering them. With this Wheel of Fortune Reverse, there is our um, external forces. There are outside situations that's keeping this person distracted, causing setbacks and delays in this connection. And it's causing all this, this lack of fulfillment here. That's what's causing the breakdown. But why is this Six of Wands here? Somebody's sitting on the fence about this situation. You guys are at a crossroads. It's like there's a victory here. You don't have to sit in this lack of fulfillment. The seven of wands reverses here. But instead, this person, 
There's a lack of stability and dependence here because y'all are sitting here. I keep saying it over and over again with the nine of wands at the, at the, his, as a hidden energy, it's like, spirit is like, just keep going. Because whatever is happening with your person, whatever is preoccupying them financially, it's like whatever ex something on the outside is causing these delays and setbacks, it's not going to last long. And like spirit is like, just keep going. This, this tough times don't last for long. That's what I'm hearing. Show me more, please. Yeah. With the seven of pentacles, there's a need to be patient. So that you guys can persevere. But I still feel like I feel like there's a lack of stability from your person. And because of that, they're not giving you the stability that you require. Because there's a need for them to feel that for themselves first. Like they they we're gonna go into their feelings and it's gonna make a lot of sense. Show me more for the situation, please. Yeah, the thing is with the Queen of Cups reverse, you're overgiven to the connection, and your person is not given in the same way. And you're like, this person is not showing up for me. But it, it's not what you think it is. Because this person is just trying to work on stabilizing themselves. But we're going to, again, we're going to dive deeper into the messages. Um, but with the Eight of Cups, you always feel like this person is, is moving on from you. That's your, that's your darkest fear. This person is going to keep leaving. Okay. Um, show me this person's feelings. What is this person's feelings? For... <laughs> um, Sagittarius. What's this person's feelings for Sagittarius? They just feel stuck. There's a lot of pressure that they're feeling. There's something that they're working on that's requiring a lot of pressure. There were some setbacks. There were some 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 negative cycles that occurred on the outside. It has nothing to do with you. Spirit wants you to know that it has nothing to do with you, Sagittarius. It's affecting you. But whatever it is has nothing to do with you. And this person is aware of that. Okay? They know that there's a lack of, you know, putting in the work that they're supposed to be putting in with you over and over again because something has them stuck, all right? But they also know that they owe you an apology and they want to apologize to you. For some of you, this person has, uh, there's some sort of legal dispute that they're involved in and they're not talking to you about it. Justice is usually a new beginning as well. Okay. Libra energy. Show me more, please. Yeah. Six of Swords. This person wants to heal this connection. They want progress for you too. It's just that they're going through a storm right now. Something's happening with them. It's definitely connected with something legal. And they're not communicating with you. So they keep leaving. They keep backing off. When things get really intense, they they pull away. But we didn't even get into their feelings completely yet. I haven't even pulled their feelings. I'm pulling the situation. So Spirit, show me this person's feelings for Sagittarius. What is their feelings? Yeah, this is something that this person was trying to keep from you because they feel like they're protecting you from it. That's all. So it's like you're, in a, you're with somebody, but you feel alone because there's a lack of effort on your part. This person recognizes there's a lack of effort with this three of pentacles reverse. All right. They want to take action. All right. They want to be your ideal person. There's a lot of love here. This person wants to take action. There's going to be some sort of love offer with this knight of cups and this page of cups. You're going to get some sort of gift or some sort of text message or something. Some Something's going to come. This person's going to come in with something very comforting, very loving. And they realize that the way they're handling things is not the right way. It's But it's the only way that they know. But they want to do better by you. All right? Because the Page of Cups is someone who's interested in learning about their emotional issues. They want to work through some things so they can be a better version of themselves to you. But this person tends to pull away when they get stressed or overwhelmed. And they have things they need to work on. If they feel like they're lacking stability, they kind of close off. It's not right, but it's an explanation for their behavior. Okay? Show me more. Look at that. Ace of Wands. This person wants a new beginning with you. They want to grow with you. There's a lot of passion this person has for you. Okay? 
this person may come in fast out of nowhere. And you're going to be like, oh my God, where did this come from? Because that's not how you feel right now. You feel alone. And you're not expecting this from this person. But there is a lot of love. This person wants to find a balance to make things work for you. They, they really, really want to bring things back into balance. And look at that. What was, the, what was the card at the beginning of the reading? Look at that. They want the balance. They want to be your ideal partner. I love it. This person may be a little younger than you or maybe just emotionally immature, <laughs> but spirit, um, or not as emotionally experienced as you, I should say. Show me Sagittarius' feelings for this person, please. What is Sagittarius' feelings for their person? You both are like, to be honest, you're both thinking the same thing as far as balance. Because I just got the two of pentacles for your person's feelings, and now I got the temperaments from you. And that's why the mutual energy is the fine balance card. <laughs> it's like this has been so draining for you guys, but spirit is like, you know, it's like you, you're pushing through. You you're you're learning from this and you feel drained, but you're like, I know that, you know, spirit is like, just continue to be resilient because you have been. So don't stop now because as your feelings, I got the six of pentacles reversed. You feel like this person is taking you for granted. And you recognize that there's some financial problems with the six of pentacles reversed with this person. You do recognize that there's an imbalance there and there's something. Your person wants to bring that back into balance with the temperaments. And you know that you, you guys need to do that. And there's a need for you to compromise. Like you want to, you want things to work. You want you two to come together, compromise. You want to forgive your person and you want to heal this. You love this person. You do. But like with the with the with the King of Cups reverse as your hidden energy, you also feel like because this person is looking out for themselves. You be like, you want to work things out. You want this person to, to bring things back into balance. You're like, I invested so much. I don't want to give up on this. I just want us to get past these hard times. But I just feel like my person is only looking out for themselves. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting as far as your feelings. And you're like, what if this person hurts me again? Like, if I keep continue to take this person back, and then they leave again. You're very guarded with this page of swords. This is guarded energy. And you just feel like your person just doesn't really care about your feelings, all right? Um, you're just feeling conflicted. Five of Wands energy is feeling really conflicted. You're like, can I take this person back? You know, I need to believe that this is going to work. I need something cl clear. Like, I, I, I can't be in this, this muddled energy anymore. I can't be in this energy where I'm like, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? That's why I feel. Wow, show me the challenges for Sagittarius, please, in regards to this connection. What is Sagittarius' is I mean, I'm sorry, challenges. <laughs> the hangman. And the hierophant reverse. Yeah. It's the uncertainty. It, it's very challenged for you. Like, you're just feeling stuck here. And you're feeling like this person lacks commitment. This is like a very unusual type of, of, of commitment, a relationship. It's very non-traditional. The way your person moves with you is not like a typical relationship. And your challenge is to get out of this stuck energy of feeling like your person is non-committal. You could be connecting with the Taurus, all right? And at the bottom of the deck, the world reverse. Like just, just being in this cycle over and over again for you is keeping you stuck. So we're gonna pull some advice. Show me advice, please, for Sagittarius. I'm telling you, you and your person, there's a lot of love there, but your person just does not want to let you down. Like. They have a weird way of doing things and they pull away when they feel like they're not enough or they're not stable enough, but they need to communicate that with you. They can't just keep disappearing on you. Show me advice, please. Why is this queen of swords reverse here? For advice. Oh, wow. This is this is really deep. Um
the magician is about manifestation, okay? That is Gemini energy. There's also Aries energy here with the tower. This is the advice that I have to give you. With this Queen of Swords reverse and this Two of Wands reverse, there's someone here who has a fear that things could be different, a fear of change because of pa a past relationship with the Queen of Swords reverse. This was somebody that they couldn't trust. This is somebody that they felt betrayed by. And they're afraid that you, every time they pull away from you, it's because they, they're afraid that you two can't come together in a way where they can, they feel like they express to you what has happened to them in the past that it's going to fail. It's not going to get anywhere. It's like they're going to say what they need to say to you and nothing's going to be accomplished. Okay? They feel like it's just going to be a disaster. All right? So they're confused. They feel like you guys are going to end up separated as well. Like they're going to lose everything if they confront to you what it is that they truly feel, like their fears and stuff. So this is their darkest fears I'm getting, okay? Their darkest fears is coming to you about their past and their past issues that are affecting their their their, their relationship with you. And they want to mat they want things to manifest. They want you guys to work. They want it to manifest, but they're afraid that things are not going to go that they want it to go. All right? So it's like they want to manifest happiness with you. They want you guys to be happy and in love. But their darkest fear is if they can't manifest this, this relationship that they want with you. Like, they're going to come and they're going to take action. You're going to hear from this person. But they're super afraid. All right? Um, the advice that I have for you, though, is that this... There has to be a tower moment. A tower moment is like a revelation. Like your person coming forward and realizing, oh shit, like this is the reason why this keeps happening in this connection. I need to speak to my person about my trust issues because of my past relationship or relationships. All right? Because this is about shattering false beliefs, an old way of life, an old way of how they handle things in past relationships and manifest the happiness that they want from you. All right? That's the thing that's going to give you the clarity and the belief. But you can manifest this with this person. That happiness can still... Why is this Knight of Pentacles reverse here? Spirit is saying, don't be hasty. Don't make any hasty decisions. Stay encouraged. Stay optimistic. With the Page of Wands. Two cards flipped over. Sun reverse. You gotta with the sun reverse and the knight of swords, spirit is like, don't think. Okay. Spirit wants you to stay encouraged, but you're like, it's hard to because this person keeps miscarrying a the connection. They keep coming in and out. Knight of Swords is an in and out energy. Somebody who makes a hasty decision and you're like, how many times can this person keep miscarrying this connection and how can I stay encouraged? And that's why you have the, the Empress reverse. There's a lack of insecurity here. You feel neglected by this person every time that they leave. But that's why spirit was like, you need to manifest what it is that you want. Stay encouraged because negative thoughts <laughs> create negative things. Thoughts become things. So as hard as it is, you have to believe that things will be getting better. Like, look at this. This this King of Wands reverse is, is about someone like you feel like this person only thinks about themselves. This is, they're only thinking about their feelings. It's like you're not trying, you're not manifesting. Darkest fears is crowned by manifest. Spirit is like, yeah, okay. You have to overpower your fears with thoughts of manifestation. What is it that you want? Don't be afraid of what you still want because you love this person. The moon reverse is, is Pisces energy. Spirit is like, release your fear. Release your anxiety. It's self-deception to take on all these negative feelings and sit with it. That's why your challenge is to release all these negative feelings that you have towards this person. It's going to require you 
to step into your faith. It's going to require faith for you to believe that things could change around with this person when they come in. And, and this person is being honest and open with you and telling you, this is the trauma from my past that has been causing our problems. Okay? Because this person is going to come in and do that even though they're afraid. Look at this. Chariot. Victory. Cancer energy. Overcoming your obstacles. All right? Being determined to make this work. Progress. The stars at the bottom of the deck. That's manifestation. But you got to have hope that you guys can heal this. Have faith. There's happiness. There's happiness here. But it's going to require you two to come together. Okay? Because, again, there's a lot of love here. So this person is going to come in, and they're going to tell you some things about themselves that they've never told you before. And that's going to give you all the clarity and belief that you desire. Okay? What does the card say? Number one. That's the beginning. Starting from the beginning. So you're going to feel relieved. Okay? This is going to bring in the balance. All right? So I love this for you. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some Lover's Oracle cards. I know it's been really hard for you, Sagittarius, because you're like, there's so many open-ended conversations you've had with this person. And you're like, this. every time this person comes back, they take a little bit more away from me as far as this relationship because they're not really telling me what they're dealing with. And, you know, your person tries to remove themselves and... <laughs> They feel like they're self-protecting and it's self-sabotaging in reality. It's a lot because this person's like, oh my God, they feel them, themselves loving you and feeling love for you and that scares them because of their experiences in the past when it came to love, all right? Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Yeah, your person definitely feels deeper for you and stronger for you than you realize. Because their, again, their actions are not aligned with their feelings. But they're going to come in and change that. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Yeah, that's what the balance is. Finding balance is knowing when to pull someone closer and... Finding balance is also knowing when to give each other space. All right? Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Wow. Wow. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends in space and time, nothing is missing. Yeah, so you person, you I mean, you and your person, you were never really broken up. Not broken up, just bruised, you know? This person was leaving, but get, they were pulling the, the back their energy. They wasn't leaving the relationship completely, but it was enough. It still felt like abandonment to you. And I'm not going to minimize your feelings in this situation either, Sagittarius, okay? But just know this person does love you. And they have a really unusual way of showing love. But they're going to come in and make things right, all right? So those are the messages that I have for you, Sagittarius, for this reading. If it resonated, be sure to press that like button. If you're interested in a personal reading, please click on the link in the description below, okay? Or go to alexandertarot.com. I wish you healing, love, and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.